I remember in the early 1980s sitting around a, uh, a swimming pool and uh, with a group of friends, there was six of us. And out of that six, I'm the only person who's still alive. Um, at least four of those people died in the early years of the HIV epidemic. Um, in terms of having HIV, I was diagnosed with HIV in 1997. The kind of cusp of that time when, um, when people were going to be able to take treatments and uh, hopefully live longer um, with HIV. It's ver a very manageable illness, it, particularly if it's diagnosed early and people get onto immediate treatment. I took quite some time to go onto treatment and that was my personal decision in conjunction with my doctor. But that was simply because I'd watched my husband go through a variety of medications, some of which worked, some didn't, the quite horrendous side effects at the time and that's a product of having been in that time and place. Um, but now I realise that obviously it would have been much better had I gone on to medication earlier because of the damage and inflammation that HIV can cause to the body. I think patient empowerment means uh, knowing what we actually need and also knowing that we have the right to ask for it. It certainly took me a long time to understand that I can actually speak up about what I need. Uh, to my health professionals. There were times where the medication regimes didn't fit with me as a mother. I needed to make sure that whatever treatment regime I was on, it needed to fit within my lifestyle of being a mother first. It was about having the conversation with my doctor, yeah, um, and talking to him about the impacts of what the medication was doing to me. I think the uh, care and management of people living with HIV has improved and uh, we now have a system where there are uh, specialist doctors who look after our HIV treatments. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people who are now trained in understanding how to manage HIV as a disease. It's about breaking down the stigma and the barriers um, and making sure that Aboriginal people have access to the right sorts of treatment and talking about treatment, you know, the uptake of treatment, how important it is to stay on your meds. To live well with HIV to me, it just means I can do things like I didn't have it, HIV, you know, I, I can go out and do my sports, I, I can, you know, I can go out at night, I don't need to worry about taking my medication at a certain time. One of the proudest things I can say is that from being diagnosed to becoming undetectable was six weeks. And I just think that is so amazing. This one little act of taking that pill um, on, the, on the day of my diagnosis was an act of control, was an act of good health, was an act of empowerment. Do you know, it used to be an, an overarching ogre in my life. That, that it was going to define me and then one day I decided no it won't define me. It's such a minor part of me now that you know apart from the physical damage earlier on done with when I, when I was very sick um, you know it's my life is one a pill a day now and um, plus my, all my other supplementary needs that's about it. it, it, it it's, it's not a hindrance in my life at all anymore.